Grant me patience. Hello, and welcome back, everyone. And forth here with even more The Witcher. Uh -huh. Where we last left off, we were doing a few things around in the middle of the evening. We went to see Sharni. She was asleep. She tends to people in the hospital, which we're next to now. But I'm not sure how we'll get in there apart from bribing the guard. A hooker, a escort, has asked us to assist her in the evening. Or assist her her girls, anyway, here in the temple quarter. And we confronted Vincent and Fowler about working with Salamandra, but we don't have enough evidence to properly approach them on the subject. We are going to go to the Hairy Bear Inn again. I'm angry. And then we need to go to the dike to see what we can do there. One place we haven't explored yet. We also need to find a way into the cemetery. Ah, it may be this gambler here. Nope, not him. It has to be a, it's a dwarven gambler. You. Why do we need to speak to you again? What was the reason? Try to remind myself. Ah, yes, the fella bought the sword from a notorious dice gambler. So he may know more about Berengar. How are things, Geralt? Anyone play dice here? I play professionally, I'd say. Care for a game? No offense, but I play professionals. Play Carmen in the brothel across the way. You might also practice with Zoltan. Really? I thought it was a... I thought it was a dwarven gambler. I'll wager your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I can tell you're well traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. Ah. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebiota's hospital. Interesting. We know this gardener. He's one of the first people I spoke to here in Vizima. What does he know about the sword? And we can practice dice against Carmen here, apparently. Might take it up on that. We have these individuals as well. Let's see what they have to sell. Are you the one Siegfried spoke of? Siegfried, the knight from the sewers? It is you! That cockatrice troubled us for ages. I heard it was a hard fight. She was young and fell quickly. What's your business? What does the Order do in Vizima? We help fight the plague, keep the peace, and fight monsters. Plenty of work. We protect the people and bear the light of the eternally flaming rose. Will you sell me your wares? Siegfried's friends are always welcome. If you want to buy something, speak to my apprentice. I handle forging and special orders. Mm. Let's not sell our steel sword.
Eternal fire fill my heart. Hmm. Greetings, sir. Can I help? You the smith's apprentice? Sir, I sweep up, fire the furnaces, run the shop. Can I have a look? As you wish. It's armor damage received. 5,000 orans? I mean, it's good. An excellent leather jacket. And you also sell some blue meteorite. That's pretty good. Two handed steel axe. I wonder how reforging works. I might need to look that up. Between the last video and this video, I was meant to look up how to talk to the, which which member of the City Watch I needed to speak to about maybe getting into the crypt, well, into the cemetery. The gods have punished the outskirts with spilt blood and blazing fire. The gods sent a messenger with a blazing sword. Nonsense, a ghastly beast exacts revenge. Perhaps this messenger transformed into a phantom hound. Possibly. You, sir. You didn't uh, mention a few things when we last talked. Look how they grow. Oh. Oh, you're after the am. Um... Yeah, I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. Oh. Look how they grow. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes. It was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. He said I'll honeycomb to you. Now Shani knows. How can I get into here? If I pay you once, will I ever have to pay you again? No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Maybe 30 orans will change your mind? Fine. Move on. Excellent. So glad. We have a few people to talk to here in the hospital. Shani just being one of them. I know says stitch red to red. Where's the orderly? She takes a breather in the garden most afternoons. Something happened? Trouble with her grandma. Oh, I wanted a Charlie in the garden then. We give our lives to the order. Where's a prisoner? Ah.
cults and religions of the Nordlings. Okay, that sounds interesting. Among the numerous faiths of the Nordlings, the most widespread is the cult of Melitelli, the goddess in three forms, young girl and mature woman and the old hag. She is a mother goddess caring for her children. Hmm. So we've learned about the cult of the lion heads. This leads us outside. Let's see if we can get to this prisoner. Stay away from the prisoner. We'll all die. Stay away from the prisoner. I want to ask some questions. Not now. Come back at night. But I paid you. Shh. Return tonight. I see. Very well. Let's see if Shawnee's here in the garden then. I wonder if she's still still at home. Till tomorrow. Ah, the dwarf's back at least. What do you want? Let's see if Shawnee is here. I'm mad. If not, we do have a few things to do in the evening once again. Hello, precious. Do you go upstairs? Thank you, crazy old woman. Goodness. No, sh oh, she is here. Yes. Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ugh, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. We're getting passed around our companions quite a lot. Not really helping us towards our objective, it seems, but... You never know, it might lead to something. At least we know with Shawnee we can rest till the evening. Now Zoltan, I imagine, is back at the inn, even though I couldn't see him at the time. We still need to go to the dike. In the evening, we need to help the working girls go back into the hospital. We, find a, we need to find a way into the cemetery still. Oh well. Everything will slowly come together one way or another. Oh, 
Yeah, Zoltan isn't here. Do don't bet on the boxing. Oh, we know about this potion now, white honey. Reduces toxicity to zero and cancel the effects of other potions. Okay. We need to find Zoltan, but he isn't here right now. Where would I find him? Will it mention? No. We need to see Vivaldi still as well. Should we, should, we should do that now. We haven't spoken to that dwarf just yet, and it's still during the day. Yeah, it's still early in the morning, actually. Hey, I'm watching you. Don't step out of line. So where will he be? Um, may as well go see um, Kalkstein as well while we're here. He has a mission for us to get a deal with some ghouls. Maybe he knows a way to get into... The elder races inhabit this district. Dwarven craftsmen and elven artists. Hello, Shani. What are you doing outside? Come back later. Must be on our way to work, maybe. So this is the the okay. This must be the old award of the Zima. Beware if you intend to stay. Fanatics hunt non-humans at night. Well, oh, I was gonna say, well, I happen to be human. Then again, witches on them um, looked fondly on Eva, are they? Ooh, how do I get in there? Oh, up that way. Okay. Let's go see Kalkstein first. Wow. Keeping this in the dark, aren't you? Bloody hell. Some candy. Some more food. Some more wine. Albedo? Yes, this solution. He's a little crazy. Hello, Kalkstein. Long time. Oh, actually, let's go downstairs first. Is this your alchemy lab? It is your alchemy lab. Interesting. I figured you'd have one somewhere. We, in we should learn how to play with bombs as well at some point. Ooh. The basics of alchemy. We'll take it just to sell it. Finally, the Witcher Geralt answers my call. We meet again. I need your help again. With what? A grave matter. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. Connected to your profession, too. Tell me more. 
Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Let's see what you have. A book on minerals? Okay, we've seen that before. Only for sores. Okay, so we've had a few of these. The Book of the Tawny Owl we've read before. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. You had a job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. A princess up top, dragon below? Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters? Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orins to whoever helps me get inside. I'll see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ran St. Alvaro's The Secret Gates and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention, a crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. Okay. We have a teleporting crystal. Destination unknown. Oh, great. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. So, I think I know where I can get the secret gates easily enough. Um, if we go along this way... There's a barrel we can investigate up here. And then we'll go see the... The Dwarven Merchant. And then we might head into the dike, actually. What do you want? I'm looking for a book on the Swamp Tower. All right, yeah. Hmm. A passage in Alvaro's The Secret Gates focuses on magic towers. This particular tower? Yeah, he describes its history, too. I'll take it. Sadly, I don't have it. I've been trying for years to acquire the volume from Golan Vivaldi, but he is a stubborn dwarf. You try. Perhaps he'll sell it to you. Know anything else? I just remembered another book about the tower. I'm listening. Ain Safar, an alchemy treatise by gnomes. Difficult to find, but a certain hermit in the swamp might know something. Thanks for the advice. Books, yeah. scrolls... He was actually really helpful. We need to go see Vivaldi anyway, so let's go speak to him now. Ointments, herbs and spices. It forever rains stones on us dwarves. Who'll run the gentry's books? And will they dispense his assets? So, 
So this is the dwarf we need to see. Let's see what's happened to his business. Ah, cutscene. Oh. Get out! What's going on? We're arresting him for collaborating with terrorists. Him? A Scoyatel warrior? His nephew was in the very unit the Order captured. The same unit that slaughtered villagers near Vizima. No, it's a mistake. My nephew is young and foolish, not a murderer. Was. He's hanging already. Before dying, he admitted contacting you. Glad we caught them before they managed that weapon shipment. Aaron, a true patriot, lost his life luring them into a trap. Gather your belongings, Vivaldi. You can grieve in the dungeon. That's not true. I want true. no part of the business between the Hawker and the Scoyatel. The fools gave me no choice. Fearing the revenge of the Scoyatel, Heron betrayed the whole unit. Probably thought he'd be safe, get a reward. The young non-humans will be carrying for ravens and crows. The only true victors in this conflict, for someone is sure to avenge the freedom fighters. Use their deaths, take just revenge for the cause. And the scavengers will be fat and sated. Ravens and crows. Sultan? Yes? I was actually looking for you. What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship. Not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Got a minute? What's eating you? Nothing, actually. Yes? Farewell. I own a true witch's sword of prime quality. Oh well. That's good to know. But unfortunately... Our visit to Vivaldi didn't work out. Let's pop our head back in. He's not here anymore. He might be in the dungeons. We need him for quite a few things. And we actually dealt with Haran, didn't we? Sultan, what are you doing here again? I'm seeing you a lot more often now. <laughs> Can I talk to Vivaldi? No chance. Anyone arrested for dealing with Skyatel is a political prisoner. He's just an old dwarf. Why are you standing up for him? I need to talk to him. Pay the 200 bail and I'll let him out. You can do whatever you want then. Here's your coin. What brings you here? I hope you recover your assets. That bank has belonged to my family for ages. And now some human. You call this justice? Do you have a copy of the secret gates? I do. And what remains of my collection? It's yours if you want it. How much? You pulled me from prison. Take it as a gift. I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. 
You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank with a dwarf. Any time. I have information about Javid that might be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the sorcerer school in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade, and a dangerous one at that. Interesting. So we have the, the knowledge of... Hmm. There's a lot of quests for updating there. So we have knowledge. Oh, we have the Earth Rune. How did we get and so far? No, seriously, how did we get that? We were supposed to speak to a certain hermit in the swamp. I am a little confused. Let's um let's step outside. Might be a terrible idea. Nothing new is gonna happen? No, nope. no, good. Okay, we'll save. I'm going to break this video here. When we come back, we... I, w I guess we can scroll along with our quest items, hopefully. Um, I'm going to quickly read up on about the City Watch and gaining access to the cemetery. But then, I have a few things I wish to sell. And I guess we can go back to Kalkstein about gaining access to... This um, magical tower. We'll read these books as well. But yeah, as always, this has been Anforth playing The Witcher. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, bye bye now.